All right, guys, what is going on? Today's a good day. Definitely a good day. Um, I'm finally able to start hitting everything pretty much full time. I mean, I still have a job and everything like that. I mean, but that's besides the point. But I don't have to worry about studying and long laid hours and like, you know, like sleeping three or four hours. I actually get to work on this thing far more often and it's very cool. I have a really good feeling. You know, like it feels great is what I'm trying to say. And uh, and the better part is, is, look at this bad boy. Yeah, it gets to come back in. I'm excited. <laughs> oh, you don't realize how naked I feel and how stressful it is not to have my uh, manliness, my signature. And so things are coming along. I know I haven't done a little bit of a video and I said, asked for the two weeks, the time's here. Let me show you where I'm at on the little bit of progress. If you follow me on the Instagram, you'll see the few little things, the little sneak peeks that I throw in there. Let's see what's going on. Okay, first and foremost, I haven't cut yet. That is actually getting done tomorrow, Saturday. And I've already done both, like, set up both sides not to cut. Set up both sides. Well, I mean, I guess I could leave the tape there. It doesn't really matter. But what I did was I made a shell right so you know like it goes on and it fits well and the reason for these shells is because obviously to put on the flare at the height of my car I need to cut a piece of the metal off and since I gotta cut that metal off and I still plan on making other versions of this kit well I needed to have a template to work off of since this metal will be gone so I had to get definitely get that done that was a must Especially since what I can do is just set it on and work off of it to make version 2, 3, 4, whatever it is, however far I'm going to go with the TC model. But in general, if I just needed something in place, those bad boys are going to do it for me. So I have both, driver and uh, passenger. All right, so I've done that. Didn't take much time. What else have I done? Right now, the car is currently on stilts or stands or blocks, really. So it's up in the air. And the reason being is because as I put that template here, I'm not able to technically work on it 100% because the fiberglass skin, let me go get one. Okay, so as you see, it's cut, right? So, and that's obviously, so that way my car sits at the low height that it is and I'm not like rubbing everything. But of course, when I'm making these flares, <clears throat> I've got to give the illusion that I pretty much pull the fender forward but of course with all the special cool designs and effects and if, and so to work on it I pretty much replace the area that I cut see so now I mean it's like my fenders back but of course I've got all the cool like you know shapeage to it now this gets held in place so I can work off it and the reason why the car has to stay off the floor is because if it was on the ground I wouldn't be able to work on it because technically I'm putting my fender back together. So that's the reason why I start off with this. So where am I? Let's go to the other side. All right, so of course I've already done the same thing to the driver's side. Very cool. First of all, wait a sec. Whoa, whoa, hold it. Just to let you all know, there's product for sale. We have the patch. We have the peeker sticker, which I'll probably throw little pictures of them right here somewhere. And then, we're working at getting these hats out. So I already have the order of the caps sitting in a box, waiting for these badass patches to get sewn on, which should be getting done. Eh, probably start working on it tonight, you know? So those are gonna be available for sale as well. Show some support, rock the hat. Um, I'll show you all the different colors soon, and I'll have it also on my Instagram. You can see all the different colors set up with the patches. All right, so, and then we'll go into more detail later, but hey, I just wanted to throw that in. So, what's going on? Let's see. Let me show you. Okay, so like in that video, in all those video series, I know like one video, and I can't remember what number. I guess I could always go back and throw the little link somewhere here. But like, I start showing you how to adjust the bumper caps. I start off with this for an FRS 
which the quality isn't that great. And uh, let's face it, you throw this on your car just looking like that, you're going to know that it, I mean, look at the peak on this bad boy. What do we do with that? So then I was like, ah, well, let's change that. And then I was like, well, what about this? So I like took the time, which took freaking hours, let me tell you, to flatten this sucker out. Like you go and you compare. Like, you know, a lot of things have changed. So like, first of all, I mean, look, I had to get rid of that big old tab. And I started pushing it down. It started cracking a little, which I knew I could repair. And then I'm like, okay, well, let's change the shape. So then I flatten it out so it fits up against the TC. And it actually did, believe it or not. Um, and then I had to like go and like change this, flatten this. I'm talking about heating it little by little, putting pressure. Like I set a board on it and then put my foot on it and all this other stuff. And I slowly heated it so it wouldn't over warp just so it could look cool enough. And then, you know, of course, I was waiting to take off the canard so that way I could put it on and actually trim like so, so it still fit, you know, and it was a good idea. But let's say, face it, we're not mass producing these for people. We're one custom. So the Bearded Panda kit ah, is getting its own. So right now, this is the bumper skin it's currently drying. It's been raining and it's all humid and juicy outside. So I have two fans going on it right now. And as you can see, the black lines underneath for the design. So I did what I normally do. Threw on the tape, drew out all the stock body lines, which is here, some under here that you can't see down here where the uh, fog light goes because I like body lines to flow and look like it was made like that. So like I've always mentioned, so here's the wheel well, you know, flat face that I have to replicate in wood. And then of course, you know, you got your really cool flow, but this is the skin for it. So once it's dry, I retrace those lines and I cut it out and I start working with that. Right? So, but all in all, there's the front bumper cap design for the 2.0. Yes, the 2.5 is going to come out. I should actually be ordering the front bumper for that sucker here soon. Um, of course, you always want to try to find the good quality for the cheaper price, especially when, you know, you're doing it to make stuff. So uh, I've been searching around. There's one more source I'm gonna check and see which way is my best for my buck, of course, and then just get it done. Because you know what? I need it to make these kits for you guys. So it needs to get done regardless of. I miss driving this car, that's for sure. It's been sitting in here for several weeks. And I'm hoping after I do the cuts on the rear, I get to start driving it again. Of course, like I've shown, I have my Universal Flares, which is sitting <laughs> On top of the windshield, great spot to store. The rest are sitting in back of the shop truck. That sweet pistachio green Mazda B2200. And then um, I've got this. I've already taken off the canards for a car. Like I miss, like it's just weird. Like you get used to these like body modifications. And of course I had to remove them so I can make this. I don't think it necessarily would have touched. I know, well maybe. The other screw holes here, which means it probably went to about here. So, I have to make some really cool custom ones once this is all said and done. So that way it still flows and use my stock holes, which doesn't even matter, we could always patch those up. And still come onto the car and still look cool and racy and all that stuff. Okay, let's talk about that fender real quick. Okay, so reminder, just in case you haven't seen any of the previous videos on what's going on. Now, of course, this is a method I prefer to use. This is the method that I think is the coolest, quickest, and it's easy to replicate to be exactly the same on both sides. This is probably the way that I will work with most of my kits from here on out until I start doing maybe, let's say, like 3D scanning and catting. You know? But until then, I'm using the old way technique, which isn't the older way technique. This is like the way newer age. Let's get cooler, faster, and everything else. 
Now, if you're not familiar, and I know I mentioned in my last video, the fleece technique. Now, if you're not familiar with the fleece technique, look it up. Take the time to research. I'm not going to post any one specific videos here. I don't have any one specific that I want to give credit to. But the fleece technique is basically like when you're making a speaker box, like for a subwoofer, a custom speaker box. You've got to make all your cool wooden structure. You definitely make and shape things the way you want it. You throw on the fleece. You throw on your epoxy resin, and then you go ahead and put it on, right? Yeah, that's Pops back there. Get on it here, calling Max to give him some food. So anyhow, so if you're not familiar with the speaker box technique for a subwoofer, go and look for it. Check it out. So that way, what I'm doing makes sense to you. So let's go look at the flare. So when I'm doing the slow turn, this is where I throw a little bit of like maybe some saxophone music on in the background, which I probably will do. So that way you can go and see it. So here it is at the angle. I know some of y'all have been wondering, what does it look like from the side? Voila. Of course, it's not all said and done. Um, of course, imagine the same amount of arch that I had on the previous front flare. And, but just imagine it to like fit cooler and better. You see, so I pretty much kept the surface, if you can see from like the tracing in the background. The exact same shape and thickness, so that way it flows all the way through. Of course, I'm still working on that back piece, but I already know how I'm going to get it done. Not talking about that part yet. Now on the front part, of course, I went ahead and did that way. I still need to throw on the fleece on the rear, and then I stretch it over to this wooding. Now, since I'm gonna be doing both pieces, and I wanna make sure I'm doing it both right with it all angled, I'm gonna do both pieces at the same time, but I'm making two separate pieces if that makes any sense. Because this part fits on the two TC2 and the 2.5, exactly the same fender exactly the same headlight design here the only part it changes is up here and the venting right here right so i need to definitely get that um front bumper now that's why i'm doing both sides at the same time but in sep separate sections so yes if any of you all were wondering both sections are going to be separated and so that way, because let's face it, we take off these front bumpers far more often than we take off the rear. These front bumpers come off for fog lights, for like light bulbs, for grills, for whatever. Whatever it is we need to do, but we take it, even getting on a tow truck even. So we take these front bumpers off all the time. So I definitely need to make them both separate in a sense so that way... Um, one, it's easy to like replicate, you know, so if someone says, oh, hey, you know, I have the 2016, boom, I just grabbed a 2016 cap for put in the box and ship out. And of course, you know, the 2013 to 2015, 14, 15, whatever, the 2.0 the 2 model. So that way, that also gets done. So I still need a piece of wood like this, which I'm going to start working on next, and have that from here. To this line here so that way as much as this angles here this angles exactly the same way up to that point and then down here is where it's going to start tapering down and get that real cool curvature and so that's the way it's going to look folks like if you just kind of wanted to know like at least a visual like design that's what it looks like now of course use your imagination until the next couple of videos come out but for now, if you wanted just to kind of get an idea of, it's there. Now you see, like even down here, like I follow that body line. So like here's the actual arch for the fog light side view. So there's the actual same curvature, same arch for the uh, flare. Definitely got to keep all that stuff. Let's look at it from a front view. Uh, I'll have to grab it right now. All right, so here's the front view. Like, if you actually look at it, this is how it looks from the front. Um, of course, you don't get to see, like, the whole full flare, but the lines at least. And then there it is in front of the tire. Now, remember, the car is lifted off the ground, so it doesn't get to tuck in. But if you're someone who likes to have, like, a stance, a tuck effect, this is definitely going to do it. Like, it's now going to sit inside 
as if like when I was without a fender flare kit. So it's right on it. It's right at the um, two and a half inch mark. So it's going to come all the way through at that two and a half inch point here. Let me back out here, and then at this point, it's going to start tapering in. So let's get some more work done. If y'all are wondering, I don't use little kids from Asia or Indonesia to do the sanding. I use the geriatric old timers. <laughs> Look at that wrist action. <laughs> Talking about how I don't use child labor. I use old people labor. <laughs> All right, we'll get back to work. So we made some progress today. I did have to go to work, you know, for a bit. And so I took a little break, of course, right? Tomorrow I work one more day, um, half a day, and then back at it. And all day, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'll be in here. But let's look at how far, like, you know, Pops got along on this, like, rear quarter panel. Okay, so here it is. Like, Pops is, like, you know, the old timer. But, man, he's, he's really good at this. But, I mean, go figure. Like, I've got to learn some of this stuff from somewhere, right? So he did a lot of sanding. Um, the drawings that you see on here with the pin are some low spots. So there's a little low spot here. You can kind of even feel it as you run your fingers through and then surface it. So we just got to go. I got to put some filler here tonight. Um, between here and here, there's a little, little bit of a low spot. Not a big deal. Gas door is already done. And he is almost done with this spot. So, like, Pops has really helped out, you know? Those little Chinese kids don't know what they're talking about when you get some five cent per hour labor. No, sir, I get free geriatric. Let me take care of you and make sure you don't trip and fall labor. <laughs> no, but all in all, you know, Pops is really helping me out. Like, he's doing a really good job. Very appreciative of that. Now, we got this section. Finally, like, the, the humidity went away. It stopped raining. So this piece of fiberglass is already dry. I'm going to take it off and trim it down and then show you all like the entire setup of the skeleton that I have so far. And then on the passenger side, I'm just going to trace and do my stencil and lay down the fiberglass so that way tomorrow evening, if as long as it doesn't rain or get real humid, the uh, skin for the passenger side will be done. I've already taken the time to trim Dang, that car is dusty. And it needs to be loved and cleaned. Anyhow, so like I already took the time to make the uh, bumper piece, which goes here, which goes right here. But of course, I need the little stilts on the back side that are measured out so it sits out two and a half inches, which I already have done. I just have to actually put them in place. So... This will be done. You know what? It still feels a little sticky. Uh, and either I'll redo it or I'll wait a little longer. You know, keep these fans running overnight kind of deal. But we'll see. But all in all, I'll still put the stencil on so you all can see how it looks. Let's try it out. All right, so there it is. Um, of course, right now it's being held on by double-sided sticky tape. I am going to permanently glue it, but of course I want to make sure everything fits right. It sits where it needs to. This, a minute ago, was actually right lined up to it, but of course, you know, like things move around. I mean, you see, you can see it moving right now. But, there it is. So, of course, this still needs to get trimmed. It is drying a little better now that I have this fan blowing on it right here. Um, in just a few minutes that I've had it blowing on there, like it's reduced like stickiness for sure. So I definitely need to leave these fans running on overnight. Um, but there's the arch. It's coming over. And then of course at this line right here, it's going to have this nice angle that comes up to it. And then this part's going to nicely taper down. So yeah, that's where I'm at with it. You know, let me stand back so you can kind of see from side view. Like how it's looking. So, and then of course, I still need the same kind of concept over here 
Now I'm just trying to decide if I want to come up a little higher to about here so that curvature matches my original front design or my original flare design that you know I had before going this route or if it's going to come and stay down this long. That's where I'm going to decide once I'm done with this front piece here. So next step of course do the passenger side which I already have everything like cut and ready to go. I just need to like trim this so I can trace it exact, make the stencil and then replicate it on the passenger side. But everything here that you see that's here besides the, the skin, it's already like set up for the other side. So both of them are still coming together at the exact same time and so they're both going to like pop and be ready. Pretty much the same time this sucker is going to be ready. So all of it's going to come together and so once I'm done um, with these three pieces I just need the passenger rear and it's done. I can imagine that's going to start coming along this week because I have so much time to finally get it done. So all in all this bad boy is coming along. I think it looks really cool. I like the new design of the, of the front piece. Like it's looking pretty slick. I hope you guys are getting excited like I am. Like always I'm always getting excited because it's neat to see the process you know. And so to see it happening, very rad, very, very rad. Um, tomorrow, start cutting this, like this rear up, finally, and get those suckers pushed out so I can show you all how this looks on there, and then also make whatever little tweaks that I might need to make, you know, once it's on there, whether, you know, I need to shave this a little more or make it a tad bit longer or what I'm going to do with this section, if it's going to stay like this or just get trimmed up excuse me, it's trimmed up a little more. But yeah, the sucker's coming along. Um, I can imagine by tomorrow, big step process Sunday, definitely have a big chunk of it done. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I think that's pretty much it. Like, you know, just let me walk around it. Nice. And of course, once it comes down, I've already like kind of checked, once it comes down, like this piece sits right on there. And like I said, since my car was like at that height where it was like uh, tucked, it's still going to tuck just like it was on the original fender. So like this piece will be strictly around or about right here. Of course, like I have it off the ground. And then tomorrow the rear will be off the ground as well. So, very cool. Very, very cool. Also, one quick thing before I interrupt. Beep, beep, whatever. I got to throw in there to like cut the little cut. Don't forget about these bearded panda hats that are going to be coming out soon. You know, this is on a flex fit hat. You know, it's in here. It says flex fit. You know, they're coming out very, very soon. You know, uh, boom. Where is it? This way. Check that out. So nice. So slick. You're stitched on, so it's going to hold just right. Guaranteed a good amount of lifetime. So throw some support. These will be out very soon. Keep an eye out on my Instagram. And then I'll also mention it here on YouTube when they are available. You guys, thanks for all the support. Thanks for watching. Don't forget that thumbs up and subscribe. You guys take it easy.